You gotta draw the line somewhere. <laughs> to hell with purple people. <laughs> now there's no 13th floor because of superstition. But come on, man, the people on the 14th floor, you know what floor you're really on. <laughs> if you jump out of the 14th floor hoping to kill yourself, you will die earlier. <laughs> I got a king-size bed. I don't know any kings, but if one came over, I guess he'd be comfortable. When I was a boy, I laid in my twin-size bed and wondered where my brother was. Hey, I'm Lane. I'm Tian. And this is... Wow! wow. What? Hmm. hmm. It's our reaction show, and we want to welcome you to the... Dead Comics Club! Club! Lane, as our president... I call this meeting into order! 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 All right. Official meeting has started. Dead Comics Club. What are we here to do? Here in the Dead Comics Club, we pay tribute to the great comics of the past who are no longer with us. All right. Paying tribute. So, so far, we did uh, we did Mr. John Panette. The great John Panette. I say Nana. He, he's still on my Mount Rushmore. John Panette. John Panette. Comic Panette heads. Mount Rushmore. Yeah, he, he's good stuff. We did uh, the great Louis Anderson. Louis, Louis. Louis Anderson. And... Uh, to be honest, uh, Lane and I recorded four sessions of uh, the the great George Carlin for you, for all of you who 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 uh, requested, yeah, the great Carlin. Yeah, but Carlin actually didn't make the cut. The oh. ones that we watched, we, we watched some early Johnny Carson yeah. uh, appearances of George Carlin. We tried, and you know, they, like they wouldn't allow him to cuss, and they only mm. gave him six minutes, and he just he it was really rough. We're he, like, man. Yeah, he we, just the, didn't seem really comfortable. Yeah. Just kind of, yeah. It wasn't he, himself. Wasn't no, himself. No, he no. He wasn't. No. He wasn't Rufus, the Rufus that we no. know. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. so uh, it was not ready for prime time. We and tried. We, yeah. So we're, maybe we'll do George Carlin later on, uh, one of the longer, you know, one of his specials. But uh, the other person that you guys requested, mm -hmm. uh, one of the most requested person that this is an honest first time watching because we never watched this guy ever before. Not even one. Mm -hmm. Full clip is uh, Mitch Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg. Mitch Hedberg. Right. It's for you guys. There's some mm -hmm. of you guys saying, "Hey, they're, they're your. He's your favorite." Mitch Hedberg um, died in 2005. Real mm -hmm. young. Like he mm -hmm. was not. He's like not even 50 yet. 40 yeah. something. Right. Born in 1968. Yeah. So Mitch Hedberg. So uh, we're gonna watch. Uh, so uh, yeah, Mitch Hedberg. We we'll do a series on Mitch okay. Hedberg. All right. We'll see how that goes. Right. Before we get into our reaction, we want to say thank you to some people. We want to give away some gifts. We got some uh, merch to some give merch. away. You get, uh, you get a Dead Comics Club shirt or one of our John Panette shirts, the I Say Nene shirt or the mm. Free Weary. Uh, mm, uh, so you here for our, you go now. So no mm. So yeah. <laughs> Look hey, at you, man. Hey. <laughs> so uh, if you want one of these shirts, uh, we pick out one person, one lucky commenter every video. And we send them a, a shirt of their choice. Whatever you want. Whatever you want, we 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 ship it to you for free. So uh, anywhere in the world. <laughs> I know we sent two to Europe. I'm like, man, <laughs> shipping is expensive. But um, we hey, in the Netherlands. We got some people in the Netherlands. We got we we, we got, have two. We got two that fans. We, know we got two mm -hmm. fans in the Netherlands. It's so cold <laughs> out there. You're you know you I don't know. You're, <laughs> They laugh at anything. Yeah, there, yeah, I yeah, think. yeah. Yeah. I've been, I, I've been, I've been there once, and huh? uh, the, the, everyone ride bikes everywhere. It oh, says they, they just... smoke weed and ride bikes. <laughs> they smoke weed and ride bikes. So need on warm. in the house. Need on. <laughs> stay warm and calm. Yeah. So okay, who's uh, who's the lucky winner? All right, who's our winner for today? Drum okay. roll! Drum roll! Da -da -da -da. Okay. All right, we got Pamela Novotny. Five seven nine five. All right, Cam. All Cam right. Congratulations. Congrats. Cam, look through our merch store. Hey, the ladies. The ladies are, are winning a lot they're, of these. You know, they comment. Yeah, they're they're faithful commenters. They're very nice. And they're nicer than the yeah. guys. The guys are like, man, these guys are idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Those idiots on the bottom of the screen. Yeah, why why are they even there? <laughs> they're useless idiots. So uh, uh, Miss Pam, uh, email us here, wowwhat hmm, at gmail.com. Uh, give us, uh, you know, tell us what shirt you want, what size, where to ship it to. And, All right, and we'll congrats. Congrats, Pam. Okay, so right now what we're doing is we're going to look at Mitch Hedberg. And um, uh, this is from 2001. And this is Mitch Hedberg um, uh, at uh, the Just for Laughs. This is... These Ooh, Canadians. This yeah, is how we discovered John Panette yep. at the Just for Laughs. Yeah. 
Yeah, so this is Mitch Hedberg at Just okay. for Laughs 2001. 2001. And uh, yeah, I don't, I, I don't know who he is. I don't know what, what, what he's known for. Hi, so I like this. You know, I, I, was, I was here in 1998 and I performed here and I, I had a pretty good set. You know, I thought it was cool. People laughed a lot, you know? But then they didn't bring me back for three years now. So tonight I'm going to try to suck. <laughs> Maybe they'll give me back next year. Yeah. I don't really like beer. I, I like to have a Jack and Coke, but they won't let us have it back there. One time I had a Jack and Coke, it had a lime in it, and I saw that the lime was floating. That's good news, man. Next time I'm on a boat and it capsizes, I will reach for a lime. <laughs> I'll, I'll be water skiing without a life preserver on. People will say, what the hell? And I'll pull out a lime. <laughs> and a lemon, too. I'm saved by the buoyancy of citrus. <laughs> I thought my teeth were white until I washed my face with Noxzema. They are off-white. I'm not even white. I'm off-white. It's a new race. We will prevail. You know, when it comes to racism, people say, I don't care if they're black, white, purple, or green. Oh, hold on now. Purple or green? You got to draw the line somewhere. To hell with purple people. Unless they're suffocating, <laughs> then help them. I'm staying at a hotel right now. There's no 13th floor because of superstition. But come on, man, the people on the 14th floor, you know what floor you're really on. <laughs> if you jump out of the 14th floor hoping to kill yourself, you will die earlier. <laughs> Thirteen is an unlucky number. If thirteen's unlucky, then so should the letter B be, because B looks like a scrunch together thirteen. <laughs> Hello, what is your name? Bob, get the hell away. <laughs> I saw a commercial for an above ground pool. It was 30 seconds long. You know why? Because that's the maximum amount of time you, you can depict yourself having fun in an above ground pool. <laughs> If it was 31 seconds, the people in the pool would be going, what the hell, what am I supposed to do now? The water's only up to here. What should I do, throw the ball back to Jimmy? Or put some goggles on and look at his feet? I was gonna stare overnight at my friend's house. He said, you're gonna have to sleep on the floor. Damn, gravity got me again. You don't know how bad I want to sleep on the wall. I bought a house, I bought a two bedroom house, but it's up to me how many bedrooms there are though, isn't it? <laughs> this bedroom has an oven in it. <laughs> this bedroom has a lot of people sitting around watching TV. <laughs> this bedroom is AKA a hallway. <laughs> this bedroom's over in that guy's house. <laughs> Sir, you have one of my bedrooms. <laughs> Stay out. I got a king-sized bed. I don't know any kings, but if one came over, I guess he'd be comfortable. <laughs> oh, you're a king, you say. Well, you won't believe what I have in store for you. <laughs> it's to your exact specifications. <laughs> when I was a boy, I laid in my twin-sized bed wondering where my brother was. I live in the, in the U.S. If, if you're in the U.S. and you can trick someone into thinking they're in Canada, you can get more money for a magazine. <laughs> I was at a convenience store reading a magazine. The clerk said, this is not a library. I said, all right, I will talk louder then. <laughs> I was at a restaurant. I ordered a chicken sandwich, but I don't think the waitress understood me because she said, how would you like your eggs? So I tried to answer her anyhow. I said, incubated. <laughs> and then raised, and then beheaded, and then plucked, and then cut up, and then put onto a grill, and then put onto a bun. Damn, it's gonna take a while. <laughs> I don't have time. Scrambled. <laughs> All right, I had a cold sore, I put some Carmex on it. Carmex is supposed to heal cold sores. I don't know if it does, but it will make them shiny and more noticeable. 
Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Wow. That Mitch was... Edberg. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Is this metal? Oh, man. Rapid fire. Man, machine gun. <laughs> machine gun. Man, Mitch Edberg. <laughs> Okay. 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 You guys, of, you guys of, knew something. So Mitch Hedberg. Okay. Yeah, this lot, is good stuff. Throughout. Oh yeah. my goodness. Oh, okay. Well, he is. Yeah. All over the place, uh, man. You, you know the the first thing before even hearing a joke, just his delivery, his how how he talked. I don't right. know. All right. This is this is this is eighties reference, right? This uh -huh. is, okay. Um. Uh. He's a baby between. Uh, Fast Times of Richmond Heights, Spicoli, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Blaine from uh, from uh, 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 James Spader from uh, Pretty oh, and Pink. Pretty and Pink. James uh -huh. Spader, Blaine. Okay. Right? I remember Blaine because okay. his name is Blaine. Yeah, right, so right, right. That's not a name. That's not a name. That's uh -huh. an appliance, <laughs> right? Ducky. Ducky says that. So he looks like Blaine, but he's drugged out like yeah. like Spicoli. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. He's kind of yeah. drugged out. He's he's a. Uh, I went to high school with guys like, yeah, <laughs> like Mitch. man, he's <laughs> he's drugged out, and he's kind of got like a ADD. I don't know why he's kind of got it like a like a Elvis kind of a you know his yeah. kind of his like delivery it. you know kind of oh. you know um, it's so funny like his eyes were kind of closed yeah and as he's, he's you know, drugged out the whole time his, his eyes are closed and he's just like just going one after another mm. that's mm -hmm. good stuff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. totally different than John Panette and Louis Anderson because they're telling stories. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, and but this guy's rapid fire and he'll just change so all of a sudden like he's talking about this and then all like Mitch Hedberg, hey, they, they, thanks for recommending. I, yeah. I like this. Yeah. He has a little Rodney Dangerfield, little little mm -hmm. little one liners. Little mm -hmm. yeah, that's some good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you never heard of him, huh? Uh you know, I, I I've heard the name. Okay, then when I looked at his picture, I thought he looks familiar, but I've never heard any. Yeah, of, any I never of this heard stuff. him on guess, on on. Uh, yeah, any even a late night. Yeah, shows. I don't. I don't think I. Yeah, I never even heard of them. So we're gonna watch a, a couple more of these. Um, where uh, on cue right now, where he he has a Letterman appearance and he has a Conan appearance, and then we're also oh. gonna watch. He has like a like a half hour special, uh, not a full special, mm -hmm. but a half hour Comedy Central special. We're gonna watch that okay. coming up. And but hey, man, <laughs> good job. Hey, uh, you, you, uh, you, uh, Dead Comics Club people. Oh, yeah. That was a good recommendation. Saying, this, that's a good, he's a good Dead yeah, Comic. Yeah, man. Shout out. If you are a fan of Mitch Hedberg, yeah. uh, man, I, we would love to hear, hear your thoughts about it. Mm. If there is something that we need to watch, like put it, like we're just finding yeah. it uh, ourselves here. But if there's like, man, this is the one that you need to watch, like send us a link. We'd love, yeah. we'd love to check this out. Like this could be a whole <laughs> series, right? This guy, this guy died at like forty something, right? It, it has to be a drug overdose. He had, he did the Belushi, like I, he had I to did, be. I did read a little bit, yeah. Yeah, yeah he yeah. had to. He died in two thousand and five. Mm, mm. Yeah, that dude is drugged out. Like he, yeah, you, yeah. You, you could. Uh, it's crazy though how he could still perform. He's he, you know, memorized and it seems like everything. Everything is memorized because mm -hmm. it's not a story, and it's his uh, delivery, his cadence. Boom, boom, boom. That he mm -hmm. doesn't even. Barely take a breath between mm -hmm. the next bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's right. funny. At one point, he was he was kind of cracking himself up. Yeah, he's laughing. He's I having a good he time. He's laughing at his, you know. Right, Spicoli. Spicoli, <laughs> right? Spicoli. So thanks all for right, watching. All right, all right. I'm Lane. I'm Tian. And this is... Wow. wow. What? Hmm. Hey, no purple people. Got to draw the line at purple people. No, no purple people. <laughs>